We can't just waltz in there and buy whatever we want. No, we'll have to bribe the gun store owner so he doesn't run our names. But we don't have any money. Actually, I borrowed $3,000 from my walking group friend, Ruth. To bribe. To try to make someone do something for you by giving them money, presents, or something else that they want. Examples. Your monkey found a new career in the entertainment field. That's all I know. <sighs> this is unbelievable. So, what is this information worth to you, my friend? Are you trying to get me to bribe you? Maybe. <laughs> but you already told me everything. I'm going to give you a raise, Pam. You're bribing me. No, 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 I am not. Unless you want me to. Do you want me to? Because I will. I will bribe you. No. Oh, come on, what do you want? What do you want? Do you want a million dollars? Do you want to hit me? You want me to get down on one knee and beg you? I, I want to hit you. What? I want to hit you. I'll do that. <laughs> Look, there are hundreds of Croatian women just waiting for you to contact them. <laughs> Pass. So you're just gonna sit around here and mope while Penny is out with Dr. Apu from the Quickie Mart? To mope. To be unhappy and unwilling to act in a positive manner. Especially because you are disappointed. Examples. If you are hungry, go up and look around, Remy. Why do you wait and mope? Well, I've just lost my family. All my friends. Probably forever. Sarah Fink, my lab partner who I hoped one day would be my love partner. I caught one of my so-called friends hitting on her, and now she's like the fetal pig we went so happily shared. Cold, unresponsive. Heartless. You got two choices. You can mope your way up those stairs and soak in a pity bath, or you can pick yourself up, march into that school, and act like you don't even know that girl. I've got something I need to know. What's that? We got hit the other day. The truck headed south got hijacked. Someone stole a quarter million. Now Hector's flipping out, looking for who did it. Thing is, I think it was you. To hijack. To take control of, or use something that does not belong to you, for your own advantage. To steal vehicle. Examples. This week we are rolling out the brand new Sabre tablet, The Pyramid. Hmm. Andy, don't make us sell this stupid thing. Oh, no, 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 this is Dwight's meeting. Thank you. I just wanted to the... pop in and get your opinions on ties. Sorry to hijack your meeting, D-Dub Dog. Had to pull rank. Okay, let's look at some ties. I can't believe you're trying to hijack our son's name. Bernie? <laughs> so you're just gonna name him Michael? <laughs> Were you even gonna tell me? I told you. When? All right, that was Amy. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you a personal follow-up question just between us? Sure, you can ask me anything. Did you actually get vetted for this job? To vet. To examine or study something or someone carefully to make certain that they are acceptable or suitable for something. Examples. Marlon Tate is having a meeting with Corey Ellison tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> is it okay? They vet people for my job every year. Honestly, it's a part of the corporate cycle of abuse. They, they think it adrenalizes you, you know? I think it motivates you. I'm the stripper! <laughs> Barney? Quinn? This is your bachelor party? You're engaged again less than a year after we broke up? Now, hold on. You're not the only one with questions here. You didn't vet the stripper? <laughs> Walk away. It's what you always do. Gabby, what are you doing? Uh, I came to return this magazine Lee lent me, but you two were arguing, so... So you decided it would be fun to eavesdrop? To eavesdrop. To listen secretly to someone's private conversation. Examples. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. 
Yeah, you're, you're right. This is none of our business. No, I'm not sure that is the best way to hear everything. Someone get me a glass! <laughs> I'm not gonna do this, okay? I'm not gonna eavesdrop on my friend. Oh, I love Barbados. Why was I hiding behind the plant? <laughs> well, in college I took a botany class, and there was lots of drama in that class. Uh, kids would gossip about me, so I would eavesdrop on them by hiding behind different plants in the botany class. Go away. All right, Kurt, be nice. Oh, I am being nice. Right, little buddy? Kurt. Okay. I understand your impulse to try to physically intimidate me. I mean, you can't compete with me on an intellectual level, and so you're driven to animalistic puffery. Call me a puffy animal? <laughs> to intimidate. To intentionally frighten someone, especially so that they will do what you want. To fill with fear. Examples. Okay, you want the dirt? Albie was seriously insecure. I mean, he was really intimidated by the guy I dated before him. Who's intimidating to a guy who won the Nobel Prize? A guy who won two. <laughs> I don't like this! Well, I thought that nothing I said or did could intimidate you anymore. That's right, it can't. <laughs> Claire, I heard what happened with the vase, but I don't want you to worry about it. I have really been shaken by this whole fire thing. You know, life is so fragile. I know, like a vase. You tattled on me? She asked me about it. What was I supposed to do? To tattle, to tell secrets about what someone else has done, especially has done something bad. Examples. Guys, seriously, I have to ask that we all step out of here. Or what, you're gonna tattle on us like you did with the flag? I didn't tattle about the flag, but you shouldn't have made it in the first place. As for your friendship with this very handsome young actor, no one will hear a word about it from me. Friends don't tattle on friends. But I do hope that you'll Honor your promise and get me into the club. My brothers and my dad used to roughhouse with me all the time. To roughhouse. To fight in a way that is not serious. Examples. Howard! What's going on? Are you boys roughhousing? No, we're not roughhousing! We're scientists! Scientists don't roughhouse! <laughs> Listen, uh, give me back my puck. No. Yeah. Yes, how about? No. No, come here. No. Give me, give, no. me, give me my no. puck. Hey, give hey, me, no. No more posing in my ER. Give me my uh. puck. <laughs> and if they find out, then they'll just know that everyone was right about me being such a screw up. Oh, Pam, I, I had no idea. I mean, how many months along are you? Oh, all of them. All of them. Yeah, go ahead. Condemn me. I can see the judgment all over that generic face of yours. Huh. To condemn, to criticize something or someone strongly, usually for moral reasons. Examples. Amy pointed out that between the two of us, our genetic material has the potential of producing the first in a line of intellectually superior benign overlords to guide humanity to a brighter tomorrow. <laughs> I'm guessing that future historians will condemn us for not taking this opportunity to kill Sheldon. <laughs> I think what most upsets me about it, Mother, is the hypocrisy. I'm not perfect, Shelley. Well, this is confusing for me. But I don't want to stand in the way of your happiness. So I'll condemn you internally while maintaining an outward appearance of acceptance. <laughs> that is very Christian of you. Hello. Time to do your laundry, huh? Saturday night. Saturday is laundry night. I know. Every Saturday at 8.15. Easy to anticipate. To anticipate. To imagine or expect that something will happen. To take action in preparation for something that you think will happen. Examples. Sorry, Barney. Ah, so you got a drink thrown in your face. Happens to me all the time. Pretty soon you'll be able to anticipate it. And when you do, free drink. 
Fright depends on an element of surprise. The simple fact is, because I am much smarter than you and able to anticipate your actions, it is highly unlikely that you two rubes could ever surprise me. He's probably right. We can't beat him. He's just too smart. Gentlemen. <laughs> I'm going to give you a raise, Vance. You're bribing me. They vet people for my job every year. Sorry to hijack your meeting, D-Dub Dog. You can mope your way up those stairs and soak in a pity bath. Yeah, go ahead. Condemn me.